Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. Now for the 34th episode I'm going to analyze none other than Magneto, the main antagonist of the X-Men franchise. A Holocaust survivor that turned into a supremacist, Magneto is not only is one of the most powerful mutants of all time, but also deserves a great to be one of the most iconic ones as well, as coupled with the fact that he fights for the mutant kind to be free and to no longer be subjugated by the evil humans. Magneto could easily be viewed by many as some sort of a messiah for the mutants, and in this episode I'm going to analyze all the information given about him from both the original and the new timeline of the X-Men franchise, to better understand Magneto and his journey from a broken child who lost everything to the iconic mutant supremacist that he has ultimately become. Now with all for ado, let's dive in. Eric Magnus Lenscher was born in Berlin in the Weimar Republic, better known as Germany, in 1930. While his life was pretty happy at the beginning with his parents, yet everything went downturn when Adolf Hitler and the Nazis came to power in 1933, and when both World War II and the Holocaust started in 1939, and Eric, because of his Jewish heritage, was targeted along with his parents, and his father was killed into a concentration camp, while he and his mother were held hostage by an evil mutant that worked for the Nazis, Sebastian and show, and because of his magnetic powers they begin uh, to materialize at the time, Eric was taken and experimented by Shaw, who has also killed his own mother right in front of him in order to motivate him uh, in his abilities, resulting in him uh, using his powers to destroy the lab and kill the guards. Ultimately, after the Nazis lost the war in 1945, Eric was ultimately set free, and he began his own campaign to go across the entire world and kill the Nazis and they were responsible for his torture. And by 1962, as the Cuban Missile Crisis has reached its height, Eric managed to find Sebastian Shaw, who was hiding in the United States as Professor Schmidt, who worked for the NASA, in order to beat the Soviet Union in the space race. Ultimately, his life changed forever when he also met other mutants similar to him, such as Charles Xavier, and another group who leads an entire group of mutants that worked for the CIA. Mark Eric officially joined them in an order to stop Sebastian Shaw and his own mutant organization, the Hellfire Club, who wanted to start World War III between USSR and USA in order for him to rule the world. Thankfully, they managed to succeed in stopping him, and he managed to finally kill Shaw to avenge his mother's death. However, instead of finally making peace with his past, Eric decided to take over Shaw's organization himself and reform it into the Brotherhood of Mutants, with himself as his leader, now known as Magneto, in order to defeat humanity and save the mutant kind from the human rights. He will come at conflict with King Charles, who is now known as Professor X and his own group, X-Men, who is meant to protect the humans and the mutants alike, and to, pro and to promote sp peace and equality between the two races. And for decades, Magneto will fight in numerous conflicts against humanity in order to prove the mutants are superior to humans. And by the year 2000, he attended to transform all the world leaders that came into a summit in New York into mutants themselves in order to make the mutant chaos into the world chaos. Thankfully, the X-Men managed to stop him and put him in prison. A prison from which he will eventually broke out in 2003 with the help of his second in command, Mystique. And he will team up with the X-Men in order to save Charles and defeat William Stryker, who tried to use Charles' abilities to eradicate the mutant kind. And, and here, and following that victory, Magneto will eventually begin to regather back the Brotherhood in order to one final strike against the humanity in 2006, in an attempt to destroy the mutant cure, a simple boy with the ability to nullify all the other mutant powers. Magneto wanted to get rid of the boy so he can save the mutant kind and will make team with a resurrected Jean Grey, who is now possessed by the Phoenix Force. Thankfully, the X-Men managed to stop him as well, and managed to put Jean down for good, before she can do everyone. Magneto has temporarily lost his powers, and for a moment he was redeemed into a normal human, similar to with the rest of humanity, until he will eventually recover his powers. However, humanity will come to develop his most powerful weapon yet, the Sentinels, mutant hunters that are capable to mimic the mutant abilities, and will use them to hunt down and exterminate all the mutants across the globe, an event they will known as the Sentinel War, in which from 2013 it will drag on for another 10 years, which the mutants were brought to the near extinction, and the most of humanity came into power. Eventually, by 2023, into one last final attempt to save the mutant kind, Everyone was agreed to send Wolverine into back in time in 1973 in order to prevent the creation of Sentinels. 
and thankfully Miss Satan was successful, as after all Logan Mee team up with the younger versions of, e of Professor X, Hank and Quicksilver and managed to break Magneto out of jail, who in turn tried to kill Bolivar Trask himself, as well as the US President Richard Nixon, who in order to prevent the creation of the Sentinels and to start the mutant revolution. Thankfully he has failed, and he changed his ways in the sense that he moved to Germany, where he started anew. And thanks to his actions, the Sentinels ceased to exist. The war never happened, and a new timeline was created, in which the mutants were never hunted down, and the humanity and both the mutant kind and the human kind lived together in peace. And Magneto moved to, into West Germany, where he married with a woman and had a daughter, in order to, and he started to work as a, into a factory. And suddenly, tragedy has struck once again, as after he used his powers to save a co worker from death, the police came and attempt to arrest him, which ended up in killing his wife and daughter. The Magneto rushed out to kill all the policemen and eventually all his co workers, which led him to be recruited by Apocalypse, the ancient mutant, in order to, rec to make him one of his horsemen and use his powers in order to destroy the humanity and take over the entire world. As well as Apocalypse tried to possess Charles Savior and gain his abilities in order you know, to control all the minds in the world. Thankfully, while Magneto had a change of heart given by his long and strange son, Quicksilver, who was conceived by him and his ex girlfriend in the United States, eventually Ma Magneto managed to turn on Apocalypse and join the X Men in order to defeat them once and for all. And as an act of gratitude, the United States gave him and his mutant followers an island of their own in which they can reside and live as they wish. And for a time, his life was pretty happy out there, and he finally began, he and his followers finally gain a place into the world. However, by 1992, the problems have come once again to him, as Jean Grey became possessed by the Phoenix Force and killed Raven, aka the mystic, which he was like a sister-like figure to both Eric and Charles as well. But now, before I go any further, we all should stop and ask ourselves, is Magneto evil? Now, it seems clear from many points of view that what he's doing is evil. However, he himself is not an evil person. He cares about the mutant kind and genuinely seeks to save everyone. He is right to a certain degree about his humans hunting down and hurting other fellow mutants. And he is in the end right about a mutant genocide, given the fact that it nearly happened in both timelines. However, Magneto could easily be argued here to be an evil version of Wolverine, given that both of them were children who lost everything and ultimately went in their own paths as loners. However, while Logan never lost his hope and began to fight for mutants and humans alike, Magneto became more like a supremacist. However, unlike Sebastian Shaw and Apocalypse, who are both pure evil, Magneto is far from being as such. He cares about everyone around him. He cares about Charles and loves him like a brother. He cared about me, Raven, and loved her like a sister. And nevertheless, he does care about his son, Quicksilver, and he genuinely did try to have a normal life. In the end, Magneto could easily be viewed as tragic, as he is iconic, and the answer to the question is both yes and no. Yes to the fact that he was his doing is evil, but no in the sense that he himself is not an evil person. And finally, after an att failed attempt for him to kill Jean to avenge Raven's death, Ultimately, he managed to come at terms with her and help her to defeat the evil aliens known as the Dibari, who tried to use the Phoenix Force to conquer the planet. He finally made permanent peace with Charles and decided to start a new friendship with him. However, in tragedy has striken again, as by 2028, Charles suffered from Alzheimer and combined with his telepathic abilities and sent a shockwave that killed everyone around them, and his line the Magneto too was among these victims, and thus Eric Lancer aka Magneto, perished at the age of 98, as one of the most iconic mutants that has ever lived. So in the end, who was Magneto? He was nothing more but a broken child who went into an immense deal of trauma. Trauma that will ultimately turn him into a supremacist, They will seek to uh, equality and justice for mutants, from being persecuted and even subjected to genocide by the villainous humans. A mutant that could easily be called as one of the most iconic well-intentioned things in pop culture. Thank you all for doing this new episode in today's analysis. I hope you all guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe everyone and have a nice day. I know we've had our differences. Where's your telepath friend? Gone. Left a bit of a gap in my life if I'm to be honest. I was rather hoping you would fill it. Join us. Eric, 
I believe.